Hello. So, in this video, we are going to be talking about continuity. And in particular, we're going to be talking about sort of one of the two big things with continuity. So, continuity. So, you may have heard this before at this level. Uh, continuity, basically, we describe it as the ability to sort of draw the graph of the function without picking up your pencil. So, Really, what we care about is there's no sort of gaps or missing pieces or, you know, sort of sections that are missing in that curve. And I realize this sounds kind of hand wavy, but it's because in actuality, we sort of don't have the tools to do this at an analytic level. So just sort of be forewarned that as we talk about continuity, we're going to be talking about it sort of very geometrically because the analytic part sort of can't do until we have limits and limits show up in Calc 1. So this is a thing that you sort of want to know now if you're planning to go into Calc 1 because it's a major section in Calc 1, okay? So as mentioned, right, we're doing continuity. Continuity tends to be sort of defined with the discontinuity, which sort of understandably continuity is not having gaps. So discontinuity, discontinuity are those gaps that are occurring in the curve. And they come in sort of a number of flavors, which is one of the things we're going to talk about here. But the flip side, sort of the other side of that coin that I was talking about with continuity, that's the smoothness, right? So the two aspects of interest, we have smoothness, or potentially lack thereof, and the actual discontinuities and the nature of the discontinuities. So the discontinuity bit, sort of the types and such, those are going to be covered in another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about smoothness and non-smoothness. And this is really to get a feel for, again, the sort of uh, leading into Calc 1, where you can have stuff that is continuous but sort of not nice in some sort of way. And that's what we're going to be talking about, at least geometrically in this video. So here's an example of a continuous function. In fact, we know it's continuous because we could right, graph this thing just sort of using our pencil going up and down and up and down and go through the whole thing without lifting up the pencil, right? So this thing is continuous. But sort of importantly, this thing is also smooth. And what we mean by smooth is that it sort of has nice rounded edges in some sense. And this seems, again, very hand wavy, but a good sort of way to see what we mean is see something that isn't smooth. So one example of that would be this sort of jagged version of this thing, right? So it's sort of the same curve, but this one is very sort of jaggedly made with a lot of sharp uh, sort of turns going. Now, this thing is still continuous, right? I could still draw along these lines and not have to pick up my pencil, but this thing is not smooth. And in particular, it's not smooth because it has these corners, right? So these sort of sharp uh, changes where it's like going very sort of steadily in one direction and then suddenly very steadily in another direction, these things are called corners. Um, and, and sort of the defining sort of piece of this is that it's pointy, but not necessarily sharp. And what I mean by that, we'll see in a second when we cover sort of the other classic version of this. So if you have sort of pointy parts of your graph, these things tend to be corners, and that means that although it's continuous, it's not really smooth. Now, as mentioned, the other sort of major one that we're going to be looking at, or the other major one that occurs, are these sort of pointy parts that are also kind of sharp because they sort of curve in. So again, these things are continuous but also not smooth. And in this case, because it's sort of curving in and then curving out, it gets sort of much more kind of sharp in that corner. These things are called cusps. So cusps are when we're sort of curving into the corner and then curving out of the corner. So it becomes this really pointy part. And it's not just sort of a corner, like a, you know, just like a going one direction and then going the other direction, it sort of curves into a very sort of sharp spike and then curves out of it again. Again, very hand wavy because the real difference between these two are sort of more analytic and we don't have those tools. But these are things that you sort of want to be aware of that they exist for going into Calc 1. All right, so corners and cusps, these are the classic examples of things that are continuous but not smooth. And in some sort of way, the sort of takeaway here is that just because a function is continuous, right, continuity is a very nice property, but it doesn't mean that it's sort of overall a nice function. Hand wavy, I know. This has to do with like how many derivatives and things exist. This is a Calc 1 topic. For the sake of this class, what we want to know is that there's sort of important things happening at these corners or at these cusps that sort of have 
deeper sort of uh, things going on sort of in the future. So sort of nice to know that they exist moving forward, okay? So what do we do? Well, we introduce the idea of continuity in case you haven't sort of run into it before, this idea of being able to draw something without picking up your pencil. And we covered the two sort of classic versions of things that are continuous but not smooth because most things that you draw that are continuous tend to be smooth. It's sort of a byproduct of, you know, just drawing it with your pencil, right, without picking up. It's sort of hard to make not a smooth curve. The two sort of classic examples being corners and cusps, okay? So that is that. Thank you.